Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Coming at you live with another video. Guys, today we are going to talk about pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages of coming to Canada as an international student versus permanent resident. So stay tuned, let's get started. For now, let's take a look at advantages of coming here as an international student. Advantage number one. And not only you get to know the professional lingo, you also get to know the unprofessional lingo, such as slang words, like a loony, for example, or a toonie, I don't have any two dollar coins in me. What is a double double? Two cream, two sugar coffee, took, and other Canadian words that other people don't use them, and you can do that faster if you are a student in a Canadian school. And in a Canadian school you can make friends that would last forever from different cultures, different religions, different countries, different places. And no guys, those are not just friends and random networks. Those are the people who potentially can help you out get your job. Those are the people who would be helping out in Canada they, because they are already here regardless if they are international students or they are domestic. They can introduce you into Canadian culture. They can help you get a job and support you, your integration to Canadian culture. Studying in Canada would help you build your resume, provide you with professional references for networking. The students, the professors, the people who are in university. I scored my first job because of the reference of one of the professors from my university. And believe me, Canadian employers do call those people. They will teach you how to network, they will teach you how to write your resume. Basically, they will provide you with necessary skills to score you a good paying job upon graduation. And finally, guys, the money. You can claim it in the end of the year when you're filing your taxes. So every year in Canada you file your taxes and the tuition that you spend within the years of your work, the taxes that you're paying to the government, you can actually get those taxes back paid to you because they are basically kind of reimbursing, kind of to support students, you are getting portion of that money back within the years of your work. So if you're coming here as an international student, you get part of that money back to you when you start paying taxes, which is a good thing. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about negative things of being an international student. You spend like three times more money being an international student. If you come to Canada as an international student, the prices for international students are three times higher. So whatever you're paying divided by three, and that's how much you would pay if you were a permanent resident, come in here. And if you're not outgoing, like me, you may get stuck with your own community, but I'm not going to say like me because I did not get stuck with my own community. You see people from China, from universities, staying in groups together. Same thing with people from India, same thing with people from Eastern Europe like Russia or Ukraine, sticking up in groups. And if you're not an outgoing person, the negative thing of being an international student is you can actually get stuck with your own community and it's going to be more difficult to adjust to a local culture if you are just talking to your own guys. The other negative thing it's too freaking expensive. You will have to find at least a part-time job to pay off at least part of your expenses because being an international student is freaking expensive. You will also need a full-time job upon graduation because probably if you take a loan in a bank to study in Canada, you would have an interest. So you would have to get a full-time job and spend, I don't know how long, maybe a year, maybe more, to pay off that loan that you took to, be, to come here as an international student. And that burden can be difficult. Also, don't expect banks to give you any loans in Canada because as an international student, most of the banks are not going to give you any loan to buy a car. Banks are not going to give you a loan to buy a house because you're an international student. They are afraid that you might take the money and go back home and they're never going to find you. So don't expect any of that. It's, it's not easy. All right, enough of negativity, guys. Let's talk about positive things of being a permanent resident. So if you come to Canada with permanent resident on a permanent resident status, not an international student. Let's take a look at it. First thing, you don't spend any time or money on studying or anything, you just come to Canada and you can start working right away. Whew, 
I love talking about it. You get so many more options of studying while you're working. You can become a journeyman. There are so many trades certificates in Canada where you can literally work in construction and you're getting your ticket and a ticket for a journeyman be it a plumber be it a gas fitter regardless of what you do or a welder you can study and you're getting paid you're studying on job while you're studying you're getting paid international students cannot do that because for example in alberta for you to be able to do one of those journeyman certificates you have to be a permanent resident and that's that's another option for a high income without spending much and getting paid for it and finally guys as an immigrant and you canadian you are a permanent resident basically you're canadian that is not allowed to vote all the benefits are available to you now help for immigrants to find a job training free training for you to get yourself a job building your resume special courses all the help that canadians would get but you get even more because you're new to the culture there are much so many services such as the woman immigrant society lady entrepreneur those services that are going to help you find the right job and most of them are going to even pay for your basic training so you can succeed on those jobs I've been kicked out of YMCA when I went there with Nito in Scarborough. There was a job board, recruiters were there, everyone was there basically submitting their resumes. And guess what happened to me? Because I was an international student, they said you don't have the proper SIN number, you don't have permanent residence card, so you cannot participate on this job board. But I said I really want a job. So they said, uh, sorry, but you're not a permanent resident and we are not allowed to help you. So you can come back to us once you're a permanent resident. And that's when I said, I need a job to become a permanent resident. And, a resident. and they said, we can help you. Let's talk a little bit about the challenges and negative th sides of being a permanent resident and not being an international student. You come to Canada by yourself, most likely. If you don't have friends or relatives here, you can be stuck in a place that you rented for yourself, trying to search for jobs in a country where you don't know anyone, you don't know what to do, you don't know the best practices. So you're all by yourself applying for jobs and if you don't get a job right away, you start getting depressed because you are like, you're just sitting and applying for jobs and you don't know what to do, who to ask and who to talk to. It can be really, really difficult if you were not an international student. And even if you have friends and relatives, family here, they might not be successful in helping you out find a job. And you'd still have to do it by yourself. But you don't have those skills that you would get in a university. And again, it can be very challenging to do it by yourself. Many difficulties to know local slang, local culture, and hence many highly skilled professionals end up working in low-skilled occupations. It may take many years for you to recover, to adjust to this new way of life, because you don't get thrown right into it as you would be if you were a student here. To, you're going to be still converting everything into your local currency and getting amazed how things are expensive here and why you have to spend so much of money to buy the most simple necessities. Other people struggle getting a proper job because they don't have that language skills which would be better if if that person was in, in a school in a canadian english speaking school it would improve the language so those people have difficulties building their social life and sometimes they cannot even get a proper highly skilled job even if they have all the necessary education degrees qualifications to do that it takes years to recover from that all right guys my opinion finally enough of negative be realistic here if you are now getting a permanent residence and you're not an international student congratulations because you guys are successful international students are trying to get where you are right now by spending so much of time and money and going through so much of hardship to get permanent residency and if you still want to be an international student now you can be a domestic student you would have to spend three times less money the government can give you a loan probably with an interest rate lesser than in your home country there is so much of support from the government to get you the education if you want to get it
there's so many options for you available right now you're allowed to work you can you can study as a permanent residence you can resident you can study and work full-time if you want you can do it part-time and it's not going to influence the result because you already got what you wanted and congratulations guys I hope this video was helpful make sure you take a note of it and we'll see you next video it's your guy Igor here have a good one